belong somewhere, you must feel comfortable and it must make you feel like you're at home. Being somewhere where you can be yourself, fitting in, like, not just with your family, with your friends, like the society. Part of someone, part of a family, you feel weak to me. It's to feel like you're needed, you know, like something, you need something. To feel loved in a group of community. I guess feeling a type of security. Just fitting in with whatever other people are doing. It doesn't have to be a place, it could be someone you spend time with or something that you like to do. Validation like within yourself that you need like, oh that person thinks the same thing as me. Um, I guess belonging to being part of a, a group which you can relate to and participate in some way. To have the right personal or social qualities to be accepted as part of a group. Whether it's on social media, the online gaming community, or in real life, it is an undeniable fact that we as humans are constantly on the pursuit to feel like we belong. But why? I mean, you could go biology, you could go um, evolution, you could go, there's so many different ways. I think socially, um, it makes people inherently feel good um, to know that they are uh, having their opinions, their ideas, their beliefs validated because there are others who have those same ideas or beliefs. I think it stems back from, oh, centuries and centuries as our development is that we're always part of a group and as a group you work together and I think humans have a tendency to want to belong to a group to feel accepted feel protected um, and that's why and we want to feel validated that we're important so being part of a group it's like being part of a family you're part of a group and so a group can also be like a family to you I feel most comfortable on social media social media social media social media in a survey done amongst MCI students, the second most popular answer to where they feel they belong the most was social media, with 34%. So like on Twitter and stuff, like sure people are gonna judge you as you scroll down the feed, but like you don't know what they're thinking about you, so you kind of like can express yourself however you want. And it's like, on social media, I follow people that have like the, exactly the same interests as me. And when we have the same interests, it's like really easy to start conversations on my own myself. Why can't you be yourself in reality? Because when I'm online, nobody can judge me. A person thinks the same thing as me, and like you don't feel like left out of something because you have the same thoughts as other person on the other side. Looking at me, judging me, I won't be able to see their face and know how they're feeling. So in this case, the fact that you don't know is what uh, comforts you. Yeah. Well, we feel a sense of community and belonging because of Facebook, but I think it's a false sense of belonging. To answer this question with uh, the gaming world, would you think poorly of them if you were to see this um, answer in this documentary, for instance? Yep, I think that they're probably alone or something. I mean, if they feel most comfortable in gaming, they probably don't really talk to anybody. How many hours a week do you spend on gaming? Three to four hours a day. Yeah. 20? Spending that much time online, where do you as a gamer feel the most comfortable? In reality. Okay. Uh, gaming, you feel so, so immersed into that environment. You feel like you're one with the game. Reality is where I feel most comfortable. For gaming, because because it lets me take on like certain characteristics, such as like leadership, and I don't usually take on leadership in real life. In reality... Why would a gamer who spends most of their time on the virtual world prefer reality over the gaming world? What the heck happened to the gaming community? 
the community is very mature, very childish. Games, as I mentioned before, games can get stale afterward. Either insults or, or people fighting, people, you know, insulting each other. If to say that gaming was their most comfortable place, they would probably be labeled as like a loner or a loser. Yep, I think that they're probably like a loner or something. Why does there seem to be a correlation between loneliness and the gaming community? I have people who are in a large group and I have people who are alone. Um, who don't feel a sense of community, who don't feel like they belong. Um, and some of them are, you know, gaming on their phones. So, uh, a gaming world, maybe they feel comfortable in the virtual world. They feel like they belong. They feel Although social media and the gaming world are great places where you can express yourself and meet others who have the same interests as you, they are only temporary. Relying on these two mediums for a sense of belonging can result in isolation, depression, and even social anxiety. A study done at New University of Michigan found that more people check social media, the more likely they were to feel worse about their own lives. This can also lead to a loss of identity. And even though we like to think that we don't change, uh, we really do change inside. And a lot of it's influenced by society, so we will evolve to the way that people around us are. Give up on your true values, the things that you believe in, and you just start, pra I guess, you know, just praising whatever they say, just going after whatever the everyone else says. You have to pretty much conform. If you're, if you're in a certain group, it's mostly like, you have this, their specific interests, so even if you don't like something, you'll end up out of it. You may not notice that you're actually conforming, but you are. I feel like the social media is kind of pressure, but things, I don't know, when I can't see people's faces, that makes me worry. Because when I'm talking to people in real life, they're face to face, I know who I'm talking to. Online, I don't know who's behind that keyboard or what is behind that keyboard. It's not like social media can portray someone as someone fake, as in real life, you could actually see the person, you can talk to them, you can talk face to face, which is something that social media doesn't have. In the game world, like, generally speaking, you don't get to see each other's faces, so like, you might not know who you're talking to all. Maslow's hierarchy of needs explains how belonging is one of the key aspects to motivation, survival, and psychological health. Because reality is the only permanent median of communication, it is important to find a place, person, or group in real life in which you can be yourself and fulfill the need to belong.